If you watched my game cart video with my Hemway bike, my Sherpa game cart, I appreciate it. And you'll notice I had this rack mounted on the bike. It was actually mounted to the Hemway rack and it was not easily removed. And I kind of just left it on there and I didn't like transporting it on my bike carrier because it hung out so far past the tire and it hung up outside of my truck. Uh, plus, you know, just riding, casual riding on a bike, I just didn't want this big rack. So I had to figure out a way to get rid of it. I wanted to keep the Hemway rack because I kind of like it. And you can see these two black knobs right here. Those are going to be pretty important. So what I did, if you remember my game cart bike attachment I made, I actually modified it to be my tree stand rack. I put the little bike the tire holder on here and everything. So this is now my tree stand rack plus when I need a, the game cart, it becomes my game cart. So these two black knobs, I have some 5 16 bolts that poke up through that go on there. So this just mounts to my hand wheel rack. These two knobs. Put some carpet underneath to keep it from rattling or anything. So you can see, see how that mounts on there. Use the bundle to strap the tree stand on. Pretty solid. Now, these are very light, so it doesn't try to tilt you back or anything. Then I take my tree stand, slide her up in there. And it fits really well because where this angle for the bike attachment is, it, it's almost perfect in line with where the tree stand needs to be. Now I do take a strap, and I do strap this back into the tree stand down to the bike attachment just to keep it from bouncing, keep it quiet. That's probably the hardest part to put it on here, but it doesn't take but a second. I want to come up with a better option, but I don't want to add any more fasteners or anything like that. So. Tighten it down a little bit. Now I don't have a good location for this. This is the, the axle and everything for the, for the game car itself. I haven't found a good permanent mounting location that I like. You know, like the tires. I, I just haven't found anything that really doesn't allow for stem rattle and stuff. So I've been just setting it here on my stand and then just pointing over. There you go. Sits on there nice and solid. Got a little rattle. I guess you can get rid of the washers. Maybe I can check it back far enough or something. But it rides good, balances good. It's very compact. And it, what I like is everything I need for the game car and my tree stand. So when I get to the woods, I can just pull my stand off put the Sherpa, the, the axle back on uh, somewhere and just leave it, you know, and if I don't get an animal, I just pop my tree stand back on and ride up. If I do get a get an animal, I can real quick uh, go through how I set this up. It doesn't take but a minute, but the beautiful thing is, is everything's here I need and I can get it in and out of the woods. It's very easy, so. All right, let's set it up. There I was, back in the wild again And I 
feel right at home where I belong. I had that feeling coming over me again, just like it happened so many times before. Yeah. The spirit of the woods is like an old good friend. Makes me feel warm and good inside. And I knew his name, and it was good to see him again. 'Cause in the wind he's still alive. Oh, Fred Bear, walk with me down the trails again. Take me. It was kind of dark, another misty dusk, and it came from a tangle down below. And I tried to remember everything it taught me so well. I had to decide which way to go. Was I alone or in a hunter's dream? The moment of truth was here and now. I felt his touch. I felt his guiding hand. The buck was mine.